Hi, friends. Welcome back to Unveiling Buddhism. In a world where destiny and desire intertwine, our journey takes an intriguing turn. Explore with us the extraordinary narrative of Prince Siddhartha, a tale not just of self-discovery, but one deeply intertwined with the love and determination of a king and two remarkable women. This episode unveils the remarkable family dynamics that played a significant role in shaping the future Buddha. The untimely passing of Queen Maya plunged King Shudodana into profound sorrow, a sorrow deepened by four tellings of Prince Siddhartha's spiritual journey. As the head of a noble warrior lineage, King Shudodana's inherent instinct. Urged him to defy these predictions and shield his son from the path of renunciation. To achieve this, he embarked on a mission to craft a life for Prince Siddhartha that was nothing short of enchanting, a life so captivating that the very thought of renunciation would never cross his mind. The initial challenge was to give young Siddhartha the love of a mother. Someone who would embrace him as her own. The perfect choice was Consort Pajapati. She was Queen Maya's sister and held immense love and respect for Maya. Pajapati had made a heartfelt promise to Maya that she would care for Prince Siddhartha as if he were her very own child. You might wonder how two sisters ended up marrying the same man. Was it King Shudodana's desire that led to this unusual situation? Both sisters came from a noble family. From our modern viewpoint, it's puzzling why any woman would choose to be in a marriage where she shares her husband, especially with her own sister. Some of us might even find the situation disturbing and disagreeable. However. It's important to note that in ancient Asia, polygyny was widely accepted due to cultural norms. To gain a better understanding of King Shudodana's family, we must also take into account the political and cultural context of ancient times. The marriage of Queen Maya and King Shudodana might have had political motives. Aiming to forge a strategic alliance between the Shakyans and Koliyans, however, Queen Maya's extended inability to have children would have led to some tension. There were even speculations that the Koliyans married Pajapati to ease the concerns of the Shakyans. Adding a captivating twist to the narrative, Pajapati remained childless. Until Queen Maya became pregnant with Prince Siddhartha, speculations arose that Pajapati's choice to remain childless might have been a way to avoid overshadowing Queen Maya, or perhaps it stemmed from her resentment at being used as a substitute by her own people. The real motivations of these ancient characters remained concealed within their hearts. Regardless of the underlying reasons, Pajapati gave birth to Prince Nanda just a few days after Prince Siddhartha's birth. As she had promised her dear sister, she embraced Siddhartha as her own. Pajapati lovingly nursed Siddhartha and entrusted her own son to the care of nursemaids, ensuring that Siddhartha never felt the absence of Queen Maya's love. Her devotion to Siddhartha remained steadfast. Lasting until the very end. In later years, she even took it upon herself to personally sew his monastic robes, a powerful symbol of her enduring commitment, deep love, and unwavering devotion. In episode six, we celebrated the profound love of biological mothers. Today, we shift our focus to those who nurtured us as children. While some of us were raised by our biological parents, others were brought up by step parents, foster parents, grandparents, or guardians, just as Prince Siddhartha did. The Buddha's teachings emphasize the need to equally appreciate their kindness, 
As the Sigalo Vata Sutta reminds us, having supported me, I shall support them. This verse beautifully conveys the significance of demonstrating gratitude by caring for our caregivers in return. It encapsulates the essence of filial piety, teaching us the importance of reciprocating the love and care we received. Come along with us in our next episode as we dive even deeper into the life of Prince Siddhartha, where we'll keep uncovering valuable insights from the Buddha's story that resonate with our lives today. Don't forget to click the subscribe, like, and share buttons to stay connected. Your support means the world to us. See you in the next episode.